Hello, I'm Gabriel with Westman Dogs, and today I'm here with Chloe, and we're working on her loose leash walking. This video is kind of to see where it's Chloe on her loose leash walking, to see what we have to focus on and what we have to work on. So I'm just going to do circles of control, which is simple exercise, which is teaches Chloe where, makes aware of Chloe where we're going. So I'm going to start walking. Chloe, let's go. So before every walk, you always say the dog's name and say, let's go. If she gets ahead or stays behind, we do a correction. A correction is a small pulse. It's like a pose, a sharp to a point. I don't want to pull on Chloe because that won't be teaching her anything. And simply walking. Uh -uh. If she, when you're walking, it's under your terms, not under her terms. She she does not get you to decide to pull to go to the grass. She not gets to pull you to the grass. She's not allowed to sniff. She's not allowed to go and say hi to another dog. It's the terms of the walk. The walk is under your own terms, not hers. And this is a good a good walk for a puppy at her age. This is a good walk. She's not pulling. She's not staying behind. The leash is extremely loose, which is what we like. Yes, she's a little bit behind, but that's fine. She's not stopping, or then she's not darting away. This is a good walk. Yes, Chloe, you turn sides, Chloe. Ah. Uh -uh. So usually it's this side that most dogs. But this is a good walk. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So now she's a little bit staying behind, which is fine. We just continue walking. If she stops, we just continue walking. Uh -uh. But this is a good walk. She's not getting away from me. She's not pulling. She's not staying behind. She's simply... Getting used to the pace. Ah, let's see what she does when we stop. Oh, what a good girl. But this was a good walk for her age. We're going to be focusing on distractions and making it better. Good girl, Chloe.